Peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD, affects about 8 million Americans. This condition becomes more common as we get older and is dangerous because it reduces blood flow to the kidneys and limbs. And PAD may also signal other circulatory problems. To learn more about PAD, I spoke to cardiologist Dr. Tahir Mohammed. PAD or peripheral arterial disease, it means uh, blockages or impairment of circulation in your leg, in your neck, in your arm, or anywhere outside the heart. The patient with the PAD, usually they come complaining of a leg pain or what is called claudication if the PAD involving the lower extremity. Claudication meaning when the patient walks, they feel severe pain in their leg. They have to sit down to relieve the pain and then they continue after that. If the PAD involving the upper extremity or the hand, usually they feel severe pain when they use their hand too much. So they have to quit what they are doing and continue to do that again. Also, the patient with the PAD, they can have ulceration of the lower extremity. They can have hair loss as a, a, a beginning sign of the PAD, and they can have a swelling of those of the feet. And they can have ulceration in their arm too. Many people dismiss leg pain as a normal sign of aging. You may think it's just arthritis, sciatica, or stiffness from getting older. For an accurate diagnosis, consider the source of your leg pain. PAD leg pain occurs in the muscles, not the joints. If you're having any kind of recurring pain, talk to your healthcare professional and describe the pain as accurately as you can. If you have any of the risk factors for PAD, you should talk to your healthcare professional even if you're not having symptoms. Usually the risk factor, by far the most common risk factor is uh, smoking, then diabetes, hypertension or high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, and then a genetic or inheritance from your parent. For a patient to prevent the PAD, they have to stop smoking. Usually this is the first thing you should do. And then you should take care of the diabetes and high blood pressure, as well as cholesterol. And then uh, uh, how we diagnose it, usually they come to the physician. We did what is called ultrasound of the lower extremities or the arm. It will show up. It is very easy test, non-invasive. We don't do any needle or anything like that, which will show us the impairment of circulation. Then after that, if it shows there is a significant blockage, we'll take them to the cardiac cath, where we'll put a small balloon down their leg, will crack open the circulation, and the patient will feel much better. There's good news for PAD patients. Often you can successfully treat PAD by quitting tobacco, exercising, and eating a healthy diet. As with any disease, early diagnosis and treatment are key to getting healthy. So consult your healthcare professional and take control of your risk factors. You can improve your heart health. To find a PAD specialist near you, call 313-966-4800. I'm Tina Taylor for Sinai Grace today.